guys! Hi! We have a new type of video that we are super excited to show you today and this is going to be called Products That Fizzled. <laughs> and why, okay, why are we saying products that fizzled? Because some of these products might be complete and total. Oh, Zoe agrees. <laughs> So you can't bark at us right now. <laughs> uh, some of these products might be some that we'd be like, don't ever buy them. They're yeah. not good. Some of them, though, might be okay for one reason or another, but we, there's something wrong with them. Yeah, you know what I mean? They're just not quite right. That they just went, yay, we're so excited to, mm, I don't know. And if I some of it, it, I have one that's even defective packaging. Oh. That I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this now? Yeah. Or sometimes maybe it'll be stuff that we spent some good money on and it's fine, but we're like, why did we spend that money on that? Just yeah. stuff that we were hyped yeah. and then we're all, it lost. It. Yeah. And what we're going to plan on doing is just as we amass enough products that we think yeah. fizzled, we'll do a video. So we can't tell you that this will be anything that we bring you on a regular basis. Yeah. But when we have enough to, to get a video's worth out of it, then we will yeah. show you. All right, do you want me to go first? You go first because you have a few more than me. All right, this is the one that I'm talking about defective packaging. I bought this Schwartz Kopf Got to Be Fantastic Wait. Instant Collagen Infusion. Is this. Because we, we beauty battled this because you got the spray, right? And I got. Um, didn't we beauty battle and I had one? We did do a beauty fantastic. battle. Fantastic. We fantastic. I stuff. had the mousse. You had the spray. Go ahead. Okay, well, this is the Mega Lift Root Boosting Spray. Now, granted, it might be a fine product, but. Nothing comes out. I can do this for a half an hour. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's well, the... call us a liar. Hold on. <gasps> it's shooting all kinds of crazy, though. Well, yeah, you can go ahead and call me a liar. I did this. I've tried this before. I believe you. I sat in my, my bathroom this morning and sprayed it <laughs> for five minutes. And I was like, okay, I give up. Whatever. That is awesome. I obviously finally unclogged it. Now, when you shoot it, it is shooting like, like it's a it's psycho. Wonky. It's it wonky. It's wonky. Okay, so anyway, I'm still going to leave it in products that fizzled because I haven't been able to use it because I haven't gotten it to spray. It's the magic of film and television videoing. It's that like, it all of a sudden like, worked. I have this sound in my car, and you take it to the shop, and the guy's and like, we don't hear it. And you're like, but it was there. And as soon as you pull away, it's there again. Totally figures. Only that would look really funny. what happened to me. That's funny. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to do this one. Don't okay. hate me. Here's why it fizzled for me. It's a Revlon Just Been Kissable Balm Stain. Um... I like the balm stains. They're fine. They're actually really a great product. But I got the color Rendezvous and this orange. What was I thinking? This is not for me. It, you know, it looks prettier right there than it actually is. <laughs> it's yeah, a it's true much more like melon. Sherbert orange. And it just doesn't do anything for me. And then I was like, well, dang, that's like seven or eight bucks that I'm never going to use again because I just, I can't. Yeah. yeah. You just, yeah. it's not a shade for you. Not my it shade. Happens. Not my shade. All right, something that I bought for my lips that, um, I don't even know what that is. I know. I had never seen them. I think it's made by Sally Hansen. It looks really bad. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter. I'm sorry. It's a Vita B lip moisturizer, and I think these come in, like, A, B, C, D, and this is the oh. Vita B. Um, <laughs> shut. Shh. Okay. This is something that I bought because I love to try new products for yeah. my lips because this time of year our lips are so dry that we're always looking for something good and moisturizing. Yes. But this is like putting on glass. Oh, I hate that. It I is. That. It just is like an oil almost, like a really oily glass that just sits on your lips. It doesn't sink in. It doesn't provide any moisture. I can't even stand like rubbing my lips together when I have this on because they're just so slick. Yeah. I don't so want that. I was really bummed. I I don't know if if the other ones are any good, but do not get the Vita B if you don't like that glassy, slick, oily feeling. Okay. Um, this one is a new one, and I like it and think it's at the same time. Okay, <laughs> it's Revlon Color State Ultimate Suede, and the color is Backstage. Now it's new. Um, I'll tell you what my deal, my issue is. The color is really pretty. Gorgeous. I love it. It's like a plummy, yeah, it's like a plummy burgundy color. Mm -hmm. More plum than burgundy. Mm -hmm. um, 
it feels good. I think it stays for a while. I like it. Uh, I like the color, but something I've noticed about it. Now this thing was ten dollars at the drugstore, so mm -hmm. nine ninety nine. Yeah. I think that's where the regret comes in, where I think that I was really hyped and then I, it fizzled. Um, <laughs> is because for ten dollars, when I put it on, just like okay, putting it on, and then I go to rub it in, it'll leave a line. Like it doesn't. It's I'm, weird. I How do you describe it? About. Like um, almost like a ridge. Like a ridge. Like when you do, like that. Yeah, and I feel like if there's a ridge there, and the first time I wore it, I noticed it, and I was like, okay, well, let me just go and smooth it with my finger, and then I've worn it a few more times since then, and it still happens, so then my biggest thing is I love the color, but am I going to have to put like a lip gloss with it or something to make sure that something's yeah. with it to help it stay smooth, even, the color stays even, and doesn't do that. It was weird. I kept seeing this little line, and I was like, for 10 bucks, it shouldn't do that, because yeah. that's a, I mean, for $14, I can get a Mac, and for $10, I got this, and I'm, and I'm a little, I'm, yeah, I thought it was all hyped up, and I was like, yay, and then I was like, crap, it's just not perfect, you yeah. know? The, no, color, the color is gorgeous. I totally understand. Yeah. All right, um, you guys know that I love the Basha, or Bosha, however you pronounce it, Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil Gel oil, gel, cleanse, whatever. Yeah. Um, the last time that I went to purchase that because I had run out of it, because the Basha stuff is what I normally keep at my sink and um, my bathroom to wash mm -hmm. my face or to get my makeup off, I bought this um, soothing cleansing cream instead of the makeup breakup because they were out of that. And I regret buying this. It does not take my makeup off. I was really bummed out because the makeup breakup just like melts your ma your eye makeup off. Okay. It's so simple. I don't have to use an eye makeup remover or a cotton um, like pad or anything to get my eye makeup off afterwards. And with this, it doesn't even touch even like my eyeshadow. I don't know if it's because my primer is really holding mm -hmm. my eyeshadow on, but I still have eyeshadow on my lids after I use this. So if you're cream. somebody who doesn't wear a lot of makeup and you're just looking for something at the end of the night to just cleanse your, your skin, then maybe That's this good. would be fine for you, but definitely wasn't what I was expecting. I'm looking for something that's going to take my makeup off. It doesn't compare to what you had before. No, not at all. So you would repurchase what you had before? I would get the, the makeup, makeup breakup. breakup, yeah. Cool. Um, this is something that I bought, and I like it. And I, I, I thought I loved it. It wasn't a favorites video, so I apologize. The Dior Ecstasy Mascara. Okay, before anybody screams, because Dior makes some great stuff, and I have used Dior show before and loved it. Mm -hmm. I like this now. I, I thought by having it for a while, because I've had it for months, I just haven't used it, that it would dry out a little bit, because I feel like it needs to dry out for me just a tiny bit. A little bit. too wet. It feels like it's just a little too wet. It's real gooey, like right there. I feel like when you take it out, the, the catcher in there isn't pulling enough off, kind of like. Yeah. Um, and I like it. It does fine. I was telling Mindy, I, I don't know if this is a product flaw or a Jamie flaw. It's probably a Jamie flaw. But I feel like it looks really nice on one set of eyelashes. And it, it I think one side of my eyelashes might be a little more sparse compared to this side okay. or something. I think my right is a tad bit different. Not something anyone would notice unless you're applying mascara to me. Um, and I don't like the way this looks on one eye. And I think the problem is that it's great, but it's expensive. Yeah. It's 30 some dollars, I think. Right? 30 some? Yeah. And, and it clumps, you it, clum it was it, it clumps sometimes. Like, I, I sometimes I feel like I have to work with it a little more. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember having that with the Dior show or either the, I think it was Iconic Lash or something like that that I've used before. So it's not that I don't like this, nor do I think that you shouldn't go try it if you want mm -hmm. to. I just thought it wasn't as much bang for the buck. You know what I'm saying? Especially, I think it's a gigantic wand. Yeah. Like, the wand on it is huge. Like, that would intimidate, that wand would intimidate me a little bit because it's... Um, Rather so, yeah, large. I mean, it's nice, but it just, I was like, when we were talking about products that fizzled, I was like, that's a, such a, that's why I love that word fizzle, because it has just kind of fizzled. It has, yeah. a, I don't hate it, but I wouldn't buy it again, yeah. and I was so excited about it. I thought this was going to be my new favorite mascara. And yeah, it, it and just because we have found one thing by a brand doesn't mean we think the brand oh, costs yeah, Dior more. Oh, yeah, fabulous. Um, perfect example is I have a Bliss Lid and Lash um, Wash Makeup Remover. I think the Bliss products are amazing. I love, like, some of their masks, 
um, but this is not a good makeup remover. I wanted to love this. I yeah. think it was, I'm same in the same boat as Jamie. I think I even put it in a favorite at some point a long time ago. But you can see, I've used not quite half of it, and I've put it away. I, it just does not get off my makeup. I'm constantly fighting getting my eye makeup off. It says lid and lash. Um, so it's specifically for that area. Yeah, and I don't think it gets it off. If you guys have found that it does, I don't know if I got a defective batch of it or what. But when I use this, I still have to use something else to get the rest of my eye makeup off. And I'm not down That's with a, that. Yeah. yeah, so I have put it away. It's like in a box under my, my bathroom sink. Yeah. So, um... I don't even know what to do with it at point at this point, and I guess that's the kind of bummer with some of these products. It's like, what do we do now? Um, yeah. But one more thing that I have, this is an Origins again. Love Origins products. This is a Brighter by Nature SPF 25 Brightening Anti Stress Moisture Lotion. And the thing that I don't like about this is how um, thick it is, and it's very very white. When you rub this in, I feel like it takes forever to to uh. rub the whiteness out. This is what, I, when I've used this, I feel like I'm using a sunscreen. I don't feel like I'm using a moisturizer. I feel like I'm putting a sunscreen on my face and that that's really all it is. But like, I'm rubbing. And, and I it's know, still white. Yeah, you can't, you can see a little bit of the line there between like my flesh. Yeah. The flesh color of my skin and how white it still is. I'm already pale. <laughs> I don't need any help with something making me yeah. whiter. So I just feel like. It takes a while for it to absorb, maybe, or something. It takes a really long time, and, I mean, I shouldn't have to rub my face yeah. this hard and for... And Origins products, like she said, are great. Awesome. Vitazine, one of the... Yeah. Love one it. It's favorites. one of my most favorite things. It's something I think I'll always have in my um This just was something kit. that didn't work out for me, and I think that this was a CCO purchase that I made, uh, so at least yeah. I didn't pay full price for it. But, yeah. um, it even just kind of smells sunscreeny, I think. Yeah, it doesn't smell I don't awesome. know. I think this is... I would use this if I'm going to be at the beach it or smells, the pool. It smells I would like put this on my herbs, face then. Like herbs. Like rosemary yeah. or something. I don't know. But I don't want to... I don't want this to be the first thing that I'm applying to my face because then from... I just feel like I'm fighting a losing battle yeah. with it. So... So that's it. Yeah. Products that... Fizzled. Fizzled. Do you guys have any? Do you have any to share that you were really hyped about and then it's slowly just been like... Yeah. It's like the air out of a balloon. Yeah. <laughs> and do you like this video idea? Is it something that you definitely want to see us do again? We're, yeah. we're thinking it would be fun to share this with you. Okay. Hopefully we won't come across them very often, though. Yeah, so I know, I know. Kind of keeping our fingers crossed that it'll be a while till we bring you another one of these videos. Absolutely. Cool. Well, thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.